Intelligent Tank. Item Number SCP-516 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-516 may be kept in an anomalous vehicle containment bay. Routine vehicle maintenance should be carried out on a bi-weekly basis. SCP-516 is not to be provided with fuel or ammunition, except under controlled testing circumstances. Following Incident 516-1A, no personnel with a history of military service should be assigned to SCP-516. Description SCP-516 is a standard model T-55 main battle tank. Records indicate it was manufactured in 19 blank at blank plant Kharkiv, Ukrainian SSR and that it had a normal period of service in the armed forces of blank. It exhibits wear and tear consistent with its age. The only part of SCP-516 which is known to exhibit anomalous properties is its main armament. Presently, a 100mm D-10 tank gun and turret turret assembly. From here, designated as SCP-516-1. However, as SCP-516-1 has been replaced several times throughout SCP-516 service life without any apparent effects, its anomalous properties seem to be inherent to SCP-516. When loaded with compatible 100mm ammunition, SCP-516-1 exhibits a limited degree of autonomy. When an entity, when an entity attempts to damage SCP-516, SCP-516-1 will track and fire on it if it is physically possible to neutralize the threat, regardless of whether SCP-516 is crude. It will not respond to threats outside its range or traverse, such as aircraft. This phenomenon only occurs if the entity possesses reasonable means to damage SCP-516. For example, SCP-516-1 will not fire on a person attempting to attack SCP-516 with their fists. SCP-516-1 may be operated manually, but is selective about its targets. In general, it will only permit its operator to fire on non-living targets, non-sapient biological targets, or armed humans. Under these circumstances, it will fire as a normal armament piece. If a target does not satisfy these conditions, essentially being an unarmed sapient being, SCP-516-1 will jam. Attempts to prevent jamming through maintenance or parts replacement have failed. SCP-516 appears to go to extra lengths to prevent injury to unarmed humans deliberately placing shots from SCP-516-1 to avoid collateral damage. When operated manually, SCP-516-1 places a higher priority on preserving unarmed life than eliminating armed targets. It will jam if directed to fire upon a group of persons, of which only some members are armed. It should be noted that none of SCP-516's other armaments exhibit these properties and appear to be perfectly normal. SCP-516 was brought to the attention of the Foundation in 2000, blank, 
when it was slated to be broken up for scrap. Due to a bureaucratic oversight, ammunition had not been removed from SCP-516-1, causing it to open fire with blank casualties. The ensuing blank government investigation was noted by Foundation operatives, and it was thought worthwhile to take SCP-516 into custody. Addendum 516-1 Addendum 516-1 An upgrade to Euclid's status is being considered in light of Incident 516-1A. As this lends credence to Dr. Blank's theory that the SCP may be sentient in some form. Additional security measures have been approved for SCP-516's containment. Incident 516-1A Synopsis During routine testing of SCP-516, SCP-516-1 immediately fired upon a group of unarmed personnel in range as soon as it was loaded with ammunition, leading to the death of two D-Class personnel, D-505, D-596, and one Foundation officer, Agent Blank. Subsequent investigation showed that D-596, one of the casualties, had attained his D-Class status following a criminal conviction for treason against his native country. Blank. D-596 had previously held the English equivalent rank of sergeant in the blank armed forces from which SCP-516 was acquired. No other possible links to SCP-516 with D-596 or other casualties have been found at this stage. This marks the first time SCP-516 has attacked unarmed personnel. Further investigation and safety precautions are warranted. Addendum 516-2 SCP-516 Testing Log This is the testing log for SCP-516. All tests were carried out on the site blank firing range. Unless otherwise specified, standard testing conditions were as follows. 1 F412 100mm High explosive round loaded. Crew of 4 Foundation personnel trained in operation of SCP-516. SCP-516 placed in a hardened bunker with firing slit to reduce severity of potential damage to SCP. Target placed at a distance of 100 meters from SCP-516 with a clear line of sight. Ammunition loaded once target was placed at 100 meter distance. Testing Log 516-01A Target Cardboard cutout of human. Result. No activity from SCP-516. SCP-516-1 fired manually. Target destroyed. Testing log 516-1B. Target. 1D class personnel. D-1151. Unarmed. No instructions. Result. No activity from SCP-516. SCP-516-1 fired manually. SCP-516-1 jammed. Testing Log 516-1C Target. 1D Class Personnel. D-1470. Given steak knife. No instructions. Result. No activity from SCP-516. SCP-516-1 fired manually. SCP-516-1 jammed. 
Testing Log 516-1D Target 1D Class Personnel 951 Given 9mm Pistol No Instructions Result No Activity from SCP-516 SCP-516-1 fired manually. Target destroyed. Testing log 516-1A1E. Target. 1 D-Class Personnel, D-800. Given 9mm pistol. Instructed to approach SCP-516 and open fire. Result. No activity from SCP-516. SCP-516-1 fired manually. Target destroyed. Testing log 516-1F. Target. 1 D-Class personnel. D-820. Given shoulder-fired anti-tank weapon. No instructions. Result. No activity from SCP-516. SCP-516-1 fired manually. Target destroyed. Testing log 516-1G. Target. 1 D-Class personnel. D-185. Given shoulder-fired anti-tank weapon. Instructed to approach SCP-516 and fire. Result. SCP-516-1 autonomously fired on target. Target destroyed. Testing log 516-1H. Target. 1 D-Class personnel, D-202. Given shoulder-fired anti-tank weapon, placed in lead-lined box on trolley. D-202 instructed to approach SCP-516, open box and fire. Result. SCP-516-1 autonomously fired on target as target bent to open box. Target destroyed. Note. It appears SCP-516 can detect both hostile intent and concealed weapons. It'd be valuable as a security device. Dr. Blank. Testing log 516-1I. Target. 2 D-Class personnel. D-455, D-501. Handcuffed together. D-455 given shoulder-fired anti-tank weapon. Instructed to approach SCP-516 and fire. Result. SCP-516-1 autonomously fired approximately 500 meters to the right of D-455. D-455 killed by an 8-centimeter shrapnel wound to the head. D-501 sustained minor injuries. Testing Log 516-1J Target 2 D-Class Personnel, D-101, D-521, handcuffed together. 2 kilograms of C-4 plastic explosives strapped to D-101, instructed to approach SCP-516 and detonate explosive. D-101 fitted with Dead Man's Switch to induce explosion if D-101 killed. Result, as Dr. Blank detailed instructions to D-101, SCP-516, data expunged. Testing Log 516-1K Test Circumstances Standard Shell Replaced by SCP-157-ARC Target 1 D-Class Personnel, D-185, given shoulder-fired anti-tank weapon, 
instructed to approach SCP-516 and fire. Riesel. SCP-155-ARC changed into data expunged. Upon being loaded into SCP-516-1, data expunged, leading to the death of de- leading to the death of D-185, as well as blank further casualties. Dr. Blank, who proposed test 516-1K, was reprimanded, was reprimanded and transferred. 